It's Marty time. Do we have that music? Do we have it? See, Marty, that's your music. I don't oh, know if I you know. knew it yet. But do you have a, an adorable pet that maybe trains you instead of you training it? Marty has some great ideas for us today, dogs and cats. And first, we're going to start with digging. If you turn your dog out to the yard and immediately starts digging holes, uh, by the way, Marty's new book out, Ultimate uh, Dog Lovers and Ultimate Cat Lovers, they're out today, right? Out today. Out today. So if you turn your dog out in the yard and you immediately have a digger, you know, maybe you should have looked at the breed before you bought right. it, but there are some things you can do, right. right? Most people want to stop digging. What we want to do is redirect digging. So you have a created, a designated digging zone. Get a children's play pool, the appropriate size for the dog, so right. a smaller one for a small dog. Right. And you actually took treasure, like these little busy buddy toys in here, and you actually buried in here and let the dog go out in the created digging zone. And when it digs up the busy buddy toy with the treats in it, you praise them, oh, good dog. And so they actually get praised. They'll go back to the digging zone. So that has the treats on. On it like that one right there has a treat ring has around a treat it. On it and so yeah. there's two things going on with that it's getting uh, your dog is getting what it wants from digging in Very that treasure. spot and you're praising it the whole time right. so now the dog will return to only dig in that spot and right. should leave the begonias designated alone. digging zone all right that's a, that's I like the idea now, now the yellow ahead. the yellow spots People, oh, in the yard, yeah. yeah. People want to eliminate yellow spots. What you want to do is you want to localize the yellow spots. So you take them to the designated potty zone. You have the designated dig zone, the designated potty zone. Take them over there. When they go in that area, you give them a treat, say like a little piece of Gerber graduate meat stick that they only get there. Right. Pretty soon they want that reward, so they go to that spot. It's the only spot in the yard. Well, people who own dogs in cities ought know how to, how to direct a dog to go yeah. where you want it to go. So in your yard, you can do the exact same thing, Marty. Smart, 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 smart. Uh, a little cat issue here? Well, you know, cats get stressed out and they want to scratch. scratch. Scratching is normal. It's for exercise. It's for stretching. It's pleasurable to it's them. It's to mark territory. What they do. So what you can do is you get a scratching post. Don't get one that has carpet here. Get one that has sisal because otherwise, if they see carpet, then they're scratching carpet. a carpet. And use a little piece of string or something and play with it and get them used to putting their claws up and then praise them just like you would a dog. Oh, good kitty. You can use spray catnip and spritz it to kind of encourage them to use the cat scratching post. And there's a new product called Feel Away, which is a, is a synthetic cheek hormone that they have and you can actually spray the objects like the edge of the couch that they're scratching on 96 percent reduction in scratching by using the feel away now here's what, marty I, again uh, what i like that you're telling people is look you can't stop some of the natural behavior you just direct it in a place right. where it does it does the least amount of harm right exactly now um what about foods that you can't feed them i see people giving these all these foods that are on this table to their pets and you're telling us now that this is not good half of all the calls to animal poison control come october november december because of the holidays this Let's first talk about chocolate. Uh, no chocolate for you, Chula. Let's say it's Halloween. A dog gets a little tiny piece of chocolate. It's right. not going to be a problem unless it's dark chocolate. With milk chocolate, it takes 10 ounces for a 10-pound dog. All of this chocolate, all three of these bars you see for a 10-pound dog. But for that same 10-pound dog, it only takes that amount of dark chocolate, one ounce of dark chocolate. Keep it away from yeah. them. Basically, it, you might like it, but keep it away from them. And as far as grapes and macadamia nuts and raisins, they cause kidney problems, they cause liver problems, they cause back problems. So these are tabloid table used to do foods. That I used to give grapes because she loved the grapes. Right, I mean, she know. Grapes. Now ice cubes. She likes the ice, ice cubes. So Number one reason people call animal poison control yeah. is human medications. Either given intensely, they'll give an over-the-counter product to a pet, like to treat a diarrhea. Yeah, no, or I've never done that. Not a smart idea. And also, lots of visitors come over during the holidays, and you'll have prescriptions here on the counter. And what'll happen is they'll counter surf. They'll get the prescriptions. Prescriptions always belong above counter height in a locked cabinet. Because not only kids are getting up on the countertops. Yeah. We all know that. And quickly, we've got just a few seconds. Marty, if we're looking for a pet and we're coming up on the holiday season, what, what do we want to look for Three tips to pick a cat out. One is to put your finger right in front of its nose, and if uh -huh. it, it's kind of like a handshake. They'll touch their nose. Two is suspend them like this, and if they're like a taffy cat, if they hang real loose, that's a good sign. <laughs> that's a good healthy and cat. check their permometer. The longer and stronger they purr, the more social the cat is. All right. And first of all, and if you want to adopt one of the pets you've seen here, the New York, uh, what is it, the Animal Society of New York? Humane Society, Society of, of New, New York, York, yes. Brought these in, Chula, and all the pets for us. We thank you, Marty. Um, you can get more tips from his book. You can buy the books, but we'll give you a few tips on our website as well, abcnews.com.